Suit's cast ignored Omid as he asked them to praise Meg in his new book, No Great Memory About Her. Meghan Markle's mouthpiece Omid Scobie has admitted that he was briefed by the Sussexes team for his new tell-all book. The journalist has previously insisted that he doesn't have a relationship with Meghan and that the pair instead share mutual friends. During a new interview about his book, Omid has now revealed exactly how much input Meghan's team had on the content. Speaking to The Standard, Omid said that he doesn't get credit for the great reporting he does from his sources. However, he didn't deny that they included briefings from the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's team. With the release of Endgame, Omid has tried to distance himself from Harry and Meghan. While he was once referred to as the Duchess's mouthpiece, he spoke out about claims that he's friends with Meghan. Omid also insisted that he's not friends with the former actress, but they said they do share mutual friends. However, the relationship hasn't always been so distant, with Meghan even said to have reached out to Omid after he was harassed online. Recently, Neil Sean reports that not one single member from Suits wanted to talk to Omid Scobie about their time on Suits with Meghan Markle. They had no great memories at all, and they weren't very friendly with Meghan, and allegedly some of them were very traumatised by working with Meghan Markle. It seems that everywhere she goes, she leaves traumatised people in her wake. Why would a cast from a cable TV show be interviewed about number six on the call sheet in relation to a book about the alleged survival of a millennia-old monarchy? Is Scobie trying the link number six as the saviour of the monarchy? Remember that Tom Bauer's book Revenge had a story of her creating a toxic workplace on the set of Suits with a group of mean girlfriends that had to be dealt with by producers and her agent. And that's why the Return to Suits story was a non-starter, just another mad manifestation. No one with any self-respect would work with Ragland again. They've all learnt their lesson. No wonder Meghan was being written off of Suits and she scrambled desperately to snatch Harry just like now, desperately trying to spread disinformation and misinformation through scabies. It comes as royal commentator Jenny Bond has shared her thoughts on Omid Scobie's new royal biography, Endgame, which was released in the UK today. Discussing the book, Bond debunked Scobie's claim that sources close to both Buckingham Palace and Prince William and Princess Kate have given him information and accounts as part of the book. Bond told GB News, I struggle to believe that, honestly, close friends, as he says of Kate and William, or sources at Buckingham Palace, are openly or even discreetly speaking to Omid Scobie for his book. I just don't think that would happen. I'm struggling to find any new facts. There's plenty of opinion. There's plenty of dirt and allegations. It's being described, and I concur with these adjectives. Poisonous, venomous. I think it's just plain nasty and snide.